And we are back from our break. So, last we left off, we may have just lost one Vrogor's Ardoom. Or did we? Let's find out. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> at, that, at the last moment, um, due to Seamus McCready being stuck in the webbing of the uh, infamous spiders of Carrick Zorn, Drogor decided to take it upon himself to request the large glass balls of destruction that Marius had procured from the Dwarven Armory, as well as the Cornate Skull that Seamus eagerly gave to him. I should have been making you make checks to actually carry that damn thing. I didn't even think about it. Mm. Too late now. <laughs> Too late. Too late now. Regardless, so Drogor has it in possession, and as he did, he began to turn and face the horde of beasts and chaos worshippers that were sprinting down this hallway towards the three of you. He opened up a side passage. Marius noticed a bit of a grin on his face. As he stepped through. And that's what we're picking up. As Drogor steps through the doorway. And you see that smile, Marius. You see a... Shimmer. About the doorway. And uh, what, what... How many success levels did you have on your intuition test? Do you remember? Oh gosh, was it was it just uh, one? I think it was. I think it was one. Yeah, I think it was just one. So you would just see a shimmer, Marius. Just a shimmer, kind of unusual. And then suddenly, the door that Drogor stepped through <laughs> closes. And there's so a horde of enemies us. charging towards the three of you. In between, oh, let's shot. get into the skill challenge again, boys. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. You know, this place sucks almost as bad as Napone. <laughs> almost. Not quite. Almost. Bad. Almost. We have shaggots on us at this point. So. I was just trying to get back to my inn. From the, I was just trying to get back to my hotel. There's a horde of enemies behind you. Um, we will go back into initiative order with Marius Wolf leading the way. All right, all right. Marius, mm -hmm. what would you like to do? I would like to run. I'm assuming away from the enemies. Uh, yes. Okay. You turn and begin to sprint. Basically, this is going to be a series of skill challenges from the three of you. Okay. You need a cumulative of 10 successes cumulative okay. to survive what is coming. All right. If you fall below six failures, hmm. something might happen. <laughs> Ominous. So... You can make a skill check. You can either, if you're just trying to run down the hallway, you can give me whatever skill you want, as long as you can justify it to me. He said, Joker said, uh, down the hallway and take a left, correct? He said, yes. go down the hallway and make a left. That's what he said. Okay. How far? Can I see how far down the hallway? I'm running. Um, you can see you can see that there's another 200 feet down the hallway, uh -huh. and then it comes to a T intersection, left and right. Okay. Um, I guess I, I'd either be on the lookout for that that passage, you know, to the left, mm -hmm. um, or just running, you know, um, trying to <laughs> get out of here. So whichever skill, I guess. You would think would be okay. More... So, um, 
That's going to be up to you, either perception or intuition. Pick one. <clears throat> perception, I would okay. like. Go make me a perception test. Okay. The link. Ooh, that's a 44 out of 54. Okay, critical success. That's very good. Now, the criticals are just going to double for the practicality of the skill challenge. So instead of okay. you only having one success level, it's going to be two success levels. So okay. you just got two for this. Um, but you, as you, you have your eyes out for any hidden passageways and you come to the T and I'm assuming the rest of you are all running with him. That's the way we're kind of doing this, unless you want to do something different. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep okay. up. Okay. Okay. He's trying to keep up and Seamus, you're, you're going with, correct? Oh yeah. Cause I, yeah, I can't see anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will say there's very dim light, almost no light, except for the horde coming behind you guys that is um, illuminating the passage ahead. So you come running to the T intersection, Marius, and with your successful, very successful skill check, um, you glance both directions and you see to the left, it goes, you're not sure how far, it goes pa far past the um, range of your vision. To your right, it looks like it does the same. There's no discernible differences outside of the passage to the right. It looks like there is less webbing in that direction because there's still webbing across the walls in the ceiling and down these side okay. tunnels. There's less so of it to the right. Less of it to the right, more of it to the left where he told us to go? Yes. Question. Yes. Um, with I, I know it's kind of a low success. Mm -hmm. Um, but when my intuition on Drogor, mm -hmm. did Marius assume that he was betraying the group, or did he assume that he was had some plan in motion? With your low success level. Mm -hmm. You're not sure. It could go either way. Hmm. <sighs> Marius is pretty trusting, I feel like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of course he is. Uh, you know, I feel like Marius would probably head left. Okay. Because that's what so Drogor told him to do. He, you so. begin to head left and go down that direction. It is now okay. that we are in Bragadine, sir. Bragadine, you're having a hard time keeping up. What would you like to do to benefit the group in this skill challenge? I'm going to just use my free action to call up, Marius, please wait up for me. And then <laughs> try to continue to move at top speed. Okay, so you're telling me you want to make an athletics test at minus 10. That's what you're telling me. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be an endurance check test. Okay, well, I will give you an endurance check then. It will still be at minus 10 because of your leg. Okay. <laughs> what is it? That's <laughs> What's going on? 48 out of uh, 42. 48 out of 42. Yeah. That's one failure for the group. Bragadine is slowly beginning to drift backwards once again. Um, Seamus, you were behind him, and he's starting to kind of drift next to you. He's not falling behind yet, but there is just that slight hindrance. Seamus, is at this point it is your turn. What would you like to do to benefit the group? Um, I guess if he is falling back to where I am, I'll probably either like put my hand like to his back and start like pushing him or grabbing him. Okay. Um, and I would, I would like to make an endurance, endurance check. I feel like we've been running for a while. I'm, oh. I'm hurt. That is true. Okay. Um, I'll, t I'll, I'll give you this. Do you want to help Bono or do you want to make your own endurance check? Um, you're not going to tell me the 
then it's, it's either one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <sighs> My eternal gratitude. That is the benefit. Yeah, I mean, I guess knowing that he's like a one-legged man, I would, I'd probably help him, try to okay. help him without him knowing I'm helping him. All right. Without him knowing? Go ahead and give me a leadership test. Ooh, okay. I can do that. I'm good at that. You're still at minus 10 for all your tests. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so a minus 10 on leadership is going to be a 13 out of 46. Okay, good, very good. So you kind of subtly, um, through body language and through nudging a little bit, you're able to, to get him moving just a little bit quicker than he was before. Um, and that's several more success levels. That's good, that's good. Um, that leads us to the top of the round. As Marius, you're approaching the end of what looks like this this portion of tunnel. You've been running for some time at this point. Um, what would you like to do? You still need several more success levels. Okay. Um, you said I'm approaching the end of the tunnel? This you're the starting to approach the, the end, yes. And at this time, it okay. comes to a T intersection. You can go straight, mm. left, or right. Guess I'm going to do another perception if I can to see where I should go or look where I should go. Uh, or, or intuition. Go ahead and make me an intuition test. Okay. Uh, shit. Uh, that is a 41 out of 37. Oh. You got any fortune points? Do... You can make it a success. I'll do it. I'll make it a success. There you go. Make it a success. So as you're as you come to this intersection, your intuition tells you you're glancing all three ways. None of the none of them look appetizing. Mm. As the one to your left is clogged about forty feet down with webbing. Um, from floor to ceiling. It's solid. You glance mm. to the right, and it's thicker than the tunnel you're currently running down. Not as bad. The tunnel straight ahead is about the same. But the webbing is not letting up as it is. You are free to choose. Uh... How thick does the one on the right look? It, it looks pretty. It's thick, getting not... it's it's getting thicker, like um, mm -hmm. from the ceiling down. So about yeah. half of the tunnel is coated from about midpoint up. Which I will say, these are like twenty foot ceilings. So you're looking at about ten foot of webbing dangling yeah. from the ceiling. I guess I'll take the easiest route, knowing that my, my team members are party members are. Injured. Okay. We're all injured, so... All right, so I'll you begin straight. charging straight forward. Mm -hmm. Not breaking line of sight on the enclosing creatures. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So that brings you guys to five success levels? You still need five more. I think so, yep. Mr. Braggadine, how would you like to benefit the group? Um... Dragony is really just trying to, uh, oh, Seamus is helping me out, but, uh, really just trying to keep up. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to, uh, give a little, little speech to my colleagues. Just be mm -hmm. like, we can do this gentlemen. Look at how brave we've been. I was able to stand up to an ogre. Marius, you were like Sigmar himself as you come with that. And Seamus, I have wronged you, but you have... You have proven yourself to be the, 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 the man of a knight and basically do a leadership test by giving my a little speech to encourage okay. all my... Uh, uh, I will yeah. allow it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> we'll pep talk. All right. Oh, my God. You're going to love this. You're going to love this, Jumbo. It's a 97. 97 out of, uh, out of 53. <laughs> 53. Jesus. 
<laughs> Four degrees of failure. <laughs> God. So, <laughs> he's speaking. Man, I'm, and I'm just trying to do the averages to figure out what's going to get me the most potential successes. Uh, he's speaking, and it's grating on everyone's ears. It's just like <laughs> Seamus is just like, oh, God. Seamus rolls his eyes. Marius is, Marius is cringing. <laughs> See, here's the small Bretonian noble mouthing <laughs> behind him. <laughs> What, so was pray supposed to, what was supposed to be inspirational is, is rather grating on the ears. Sunday, and you, you, you guys are my horse. You wow. guys are one negative away from something bad happening. Oh, so, God. so that brings us to Seamus McCready. How are you going to save the night, Seamus? Uh, I can't. I'm going to keep keep going with. Uh, <laughs> My own leadership test or an endurance one or Okay, you did leadership doing... last time, so give me an endurance test this time. I just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. As I uh am disgusted by Beno's speech. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, that is a seven mm -hmm. out of uh fifty five. Okay, very good, very, very good. All right, is that four? I think you got oh man, I think you guys are one and one now. Woo it's I all misinterpreted ride. that as a success for my speech. It's all gonna ride on Marius Wolf. Uh, <laughs> Live or die. <laughs> Make your big choice. Broad shoulders of Marius Wolf. <laughs> so Seamus picks it up. He, you know, he, he he wants to put some distance between him and Beno. He passes Beno. <laughs> Beno is in the back at this point, <laughs> struggling. <laughs> And Wait. um, and <laughs> you can still hear the calling from behind you, Marius. Mm -hmm. It is up to you for the final test. What would you like to do? So we're go still going down the hall. You're um, still going down this hall. Um, it yeah. looks like there are actually rooms. There are doors, doorways. Some of them don't have doors on them. Some of them have doors on them, lining the side of this hall at this point. Um, okay. And then it looks like further up the hall, um, you could also either make a left or right as it comes to another T. The decision is yours. Okay. You said there's doorways, though? There are doorways. Some of them don't have doors on them, almost as if they've been either bludgeoned in or are just missing mysteriously. Not sure why. <laughs> uh... Gosh. Uh, I guess maybe maybe what we'll try to do is hide. <laughs> so Are you gonna well, make me a stealth know. check? If I think I think if Ma Marius knew there were like dogs and stuff, he probably would try to keep running and like lose them. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I'll say I this like if, if you if you want to make me a hide roll. I will give you benefits for all of your your tunneling and all of your other minor stuff that you have if you okay. want to attempt a stealth roll. Then I'll do that. I'll stealth. Okay, stealth. I will give you a plus 20 to this roll. Okay. Here we go. That is a 42 out of 58. Holy shit, man. <laughs> You're cutting it close. Cutting it close. <laughs> nice. Woo. Woo. <laughs> so you're passing these, these doorways. And you see an opportunity, Marius. You glance over your shoulder. You can see that there's there are quite a few people in the corridor. They're farther back, though. And you have good eyes, Marius. You think that you can probably see better than these individuals. And they're on the peripheral of your vision. You think that you have an opportunity to duck away and possibly have them pass you by. You wait for the, a right moment glancing over your shoulder at your compatriots who everyone is sweating, pouring sweat severely wounded and hurt 
and you come to a doorway where the door is cracked. It is sweat, inwards. not crying. <laughs> there is also tears from Bono. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> you, you come to a door that is cracked inwards. And you quickly pivot and put your shoulder into the door. It flies open. And as it does, it reveals just a small room. 10 by 10. Or shelves of some kind. Looks like there might even be something else more interesting in here as you guys pile inside. I'm assuming the rest of you are piling inside. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Marius quickly pushes against the door. And you notice, Marius, as you push the door closed, that there's actually a solid steel lock on this door. And the door itself is made of metal. Looks very, very sturdy. And you slide it into place. And the Chaos Worshippers pass you by. Ooh. Ooh. You hear the hooping this. and hollering and you you hear the I baning against the walls and you see torches pass by quickly. And you get an idea, Marius, you know, glancing as the flames pass through the, the um the cracks towards the bottom of the door. Because this this place has seen a lot of disuse. What used to be probably flush is not so much lo any longer. And judging by the amount of torches and the noise and the bodies and the shaking, you'd probably say there was at least 20 to 30 people in this party. Creatures, that is. <laughs> that just passed you by. Oof. And you breathe out a sigh of relief. <sighs> and the three of you are momentarily safe. What would you guys like to do? I sit down or collapse against the wall and just try to <laughs> take a breath. All right. Yeah, Bono, probably just Jerry yeah. Coop. Yeah, Bono kind of stumbles backwards against the wall. And as you do, you knock into one of the shelves, Bono. Um, go ahead and make me a dexterity check, Bono. <laughs> uh, let me see. It's, it's a five. I pass, whatever it is. It's five. Out of uh, 41. It's a good thing you passed, Bono. As you stumble into the shelves, you knock something loose above you. And uh -oh. whew, something comes tumbling down. And just your natural intuition basically reaches your hands out and catches it before it hits the ground. And you oh. notice it is a large... Glass cylinder. There's nothing inside of it. It's dusty. But it probably would have made a lot of noise. And you... Whew, slowly set it down beside you. <laughs> As the rest of you began to look across the room at what just unfolded with Mr. Bonneau. Mm -hmm. You see that in this room, though it is small... The shelving units are kind of strange. There's lots of um, odd pieces of glassware. And you see some containers that all look like they're actually like barrels of a sort. Would you either of you care to investigate? Yes. Oh, Marius Wolf starts... <laughs> Smelling? You get close to one of those barrels, Marius? Mm -hmm. There's ale in those barrels. There's what? There's ale. Ale? Mm. Seamus. See how many barrels. Uh, uh, I guess I'm it's been quite some time. It's true. I'm going to try to find some glassware and we, we, you know, pop this keg. There's plenty. There's like there's large mugs, um, and there's a lot of glassware, which is unusual for dwarves. Even mm -hmm. usually, it's uh, metal tankards and things of that sort. But this has been an unusual place, and you find some some rather sizable 
um, glasses, and you're more than able to pop this keg and have you a good drink. The three of you. Uh, yeah. I get up yeah. and I, I join them over there. Okay. And you pop it open. It's not cold. But mm. it is delicious. And I need everyone to make me consume alcohol tests. All right. Oh, it's my favorite kind of test. Oh, 25 <laughs> out of 50. Okay, good, good. Seamus is holding his own. Marius rolled a thirty-four out of fifty-one. Oh, pretty damn good as well, Marius. It's 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 nice. It's refreshing, especially after <sighs> what just happened. After being burned multiple times. It's true. Braggity. All right. All right, I got Carouser too, just in case I fail this. But uh, yes, yeah. fifty-two. I rolled a forty-five out of fifty-two. Okay, yeah, I'm about to say, you are very good at drinking, if I remember correctly. Mm, <laughs> so, yeah, it is, uh... so, yeah. Not as good as Seamus is. is he? He's uh, pretty damn good. He also has we will some... have to place the wager on that. Yeah, oh, man, mm. maybe we'll have a drinking contest in the Dwarf yeah, Pantry. Yeah, we will. Oh. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's get smashed right now, guys. I'm, in, I'm into it. <laughs> but... You guys all have a good solid, you know, you can drink as much as you want. There's several casks in here. And you could probably take some with you if you wanted, Marius Wolf. I know can how you like your beer. Can I wish probably around would. And uh, see if there's any wine. Oh. <laughs> Why? Oh, yes. Get, you, get the you, fuck out of here. You know what? <laughs> Make me a perception test, Beno. Okay. While this is all going on, can I use my healing uh, skill? You can't, yes, because of the current fight. You, Marius and Seamus, both you guys can both attempt to patch yourselves up. Um, what right. was your What was your test? Um, uh, Thirty under forty nine. Thirty under forty. Okay. Thirty. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but no, you begin glancing around. You know, you you know, beers. Okay. It's not bad, but I will say this beer is very, very, very good. Um, fine Dawi ale of a sorts. But you begin glancing around, and Bono, ironically, you glance down to one of the bottom shelves, and sure enough, there is a rack of fine wine. Oh. In the bottom of this This pantry. is what I was looking for. Not only is it fine wine, but no. You, you go, glance down there and you pull a bottle out. This is Bretonian wine. Gentlemen, it is like a manna from the gods. You don't even, know, don't, don't even know the treasure I have found over here. Now, Bragadine, um, you don't recognize the bottle and you don't recognize what's written upon it because it's written in dwarfish and kazalid do i recognize any sigils or anything like that, that you I don't even recognize I that what you recognize is the taste it tastes like bretonian wine it's it's un it's very strange there's no identifying marks but you can just from the smell and the taste alone, you can tell that this was either brewed or perhaps the base ingredients came come from the same place that all of Bretonian wine comes from. I will place it in my bag. Okay. You have one fine bottle of Bretonian wine, indistinguishable indistinguishable like bottle no no markings of any sorts but you have a fine bottle perfect perfect um and then how, um, how'd the heel test go uh, Seamus got a 28 out of what is a 41 okay yeah you can recover your toughness plus the success levels and uh marius um, I just rolled a 24 out of 37. Okay, same thing. Or, excuse me, not your toughness, your intelligence bonus plus your um, success okay. levels. Yeah. Okay. Um, does anybody want to patch up Mr. Bonneau? 
Gentlemen, can uh, you help me pull this metal out of my chest and uh, help me bind these wounds? <laughs> yes, indeed. If you allow us to, I didn't know if you would allow us to. Yes, yeah. One of checks. you, one of you can make a check. One of you can make a check for him. Please. Mm, looks like Marius wants to. Oh, okay. <laughs> Marius is not the best at it, but Marius will try. Go ahead. Mm, lucky. Mary sold a 25 out of 37. Okay. So you get, um, you just tell him whatever the, whatever, how many, uh, however many wounds it is. Four wounds. Four wounds. You recover. All right. All right. Still bruised and battered, but feeling better. And how much time are we going to attempt to spend in this pantry? Mm. Oh, no. Uh,. Do we feel like it's safe? <laughs> Is anywhere yeah, safe? We... I do not feel <laughs> no. safe. Here. Have we heard anything? Not until I see the sky above us, where I feel safe again. Um, you hear you. You all can hear even without tests. You can hear the um, like every now and then. You hear passing patrols. They're obviously looking for the three of you. Uh, damn. Uh, but but they have yet to find you. Well, might as well poke our heads out. Can't stay down here all day. So, do you guys want to attempt a short rest? Do you want to attempt a long rest? Do you want to just move minutes. on? It looks to uh, me that these barrels have been undisturbed for a long time. Mm-hmm. So perhaps these these minions of, of, of evil do not drink ale and do not come in this room often. I think we should I think I think it would be safe for us to rest. Perhaps we could put a few barrels against the door to, to give us some warning, but Is there any I, other I, I, exit is there any other exit out of this room? As far as you can tell, um, go ahead and make me an intuition test. We'll see what you can come up with. Uh, seven out of 37. The obvious door that you have locked currently. Mm -hmm. You start glancing around. You know, you're, you're on, the, on the lookout at this point uh, for hidden passageways. You've seen numerous hidden passageways. You glance towards the back of the room and start feeling around. And sure enough... You sense you see the outline of a hidden door. The mm. dust is caked around the sides of it, giving it away easily enough. And you see a small marking down to the side. Looks eerily like the marking that you needed with the stone and the rune carved onto it. Mm. Alright. Um I'll do I still have that stone? Do you still have that stone? I don't remember if I passed it mm. off to Grogo or not. Oh. Why don't we flip a coin do then? <laughs> Let's do a 50-50. Let's see <laughs> if you have this right. stone, Marius Wolf. Alright. Why don't you roll me a D4? D4? Evens or odds, yeah. Marius? Evens or odds? Alright. Yeah, are you going to pick or am I going to pick? You pick. Alright, I'll pick... Evens. All right, roll me that D four. Let's find out. I got two. Okay, you begin fu you begin fumbling in your pack, and sure enough, you pull out that stone, and you think right. it'll probably open up this door. I suck it in. Okay, all you do is kind of put it up to it, and the room glows brightly, and as it does. The wall very familiar, very familiarly peels itself inward and then slides to the side, and there's an open corridor. Uh, we might have a way out, let's. Uh, we, can, uh, we can rest here a bit. If uh, trouble comes a knocking, we can shoot out this door. Uh, there might be a way out, but who knows 
or this goes, which could be walking around for days. <laughs> true, true, very true. I think we need rest, though. Okay. Are I we know. taking a night's rest? Or are we uh, taking a short a sh- rest? I say we take a short rest, like an okay. hour. I don't want to be here very long. Let's just, uh, a short rest will be good. Just a small nap. Got it. So, um, is some dis- is somebody going to be on edge, on watch, as it was? I mean, ah. yes. Yeah, I will. Okay. I'll tell you what. Um, Braggadine, go ahead and make me a perception test at plus 30 because you have a heightened senses of hearing. Okay. Um, let me see, I rolled an 8. So let's see how many. Uh, plus 30. 10, let's say 40. 79. I rolled 8 under 79. Fantastic. So, Braggadine kind of um, sitting down. You you almost go into almost like a trance-like state in your during this rest time. And you can just... You just let your your natural prowess, your ability you've picked up over time, over eavesdropping on noble ladies and noble lords. That's how you get the best gossip. Exactly. That's how you hear the best things, indeed. And focus yourself and just leave yourself open to listening. And for the first hour... You hear nothing, and you guys all recover your toughness bonus in wounds. Oh, sweet. Uh, full health. Almost full health. Okay. What are we doing now, gentlemen? Um, just for the sake of, you know, whatever, I would like to reload that rifle during this short rest. That's fine. That is easily done. You can have it reloaded. You said it's just our toughness bonus for healing? Yeah, it's just your toughness bonus for the uh, short rest. Okay. Um, Marius is probably just, um, while he's resting, just kind of looking over his pick. Um, just kind of glancing over it, admiring yeah. it. The black steel. It, studying it, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you do notice that the um, the runes are not glowing. Like they were before, they, mm-hmm. they're very they're very dull and muted. They appear to only glow. You're not exactly sure why they glow. In fact, you know that something must activate them. Uh, but they seem inert currently and cool. Okay. The head of the pick with the kind of rat-like visage, where the the piercing points coming through its mouth. Um. It looks like there is not a blemish upon it from where you struck that demon. Oh. A lesser weapon definitely would have um, at least left a singe. This is awfully, yeah. obviously something very, very powerful. Yeah. Oh, and I did forget to mention that the horns on the sides of the rat's head, there's actually f- two sets. There's Two one high and then one low. They curve up and over and then up and under, or excuse me, down yes. and down and below the uh, the the head of the pick. Nice. All right. Um, Mary should also probably gather a small cask of ale to carry. With. Oh, easily <laughs> done. Get your small <laughs> cask of ale. And uh, are yeah. we venturing forward? Mm, yep. Okay. Are we are we going through the bar door or are we going through the hidden door? Let's go to the, the new that? way. Let's go to the new way. I don't mm-hmm. want to go about in the hallway. I agree with our Bretonian friend. Okay. So the door still um it actually closes itself after a few moments. So you reopen okay. it. And you step a foot inside. Um, I'm assuming you light the candle, Marius? Uh, yes. 
Because it is pitch black in here. There is no lighting whatsoever. You light the candle. Um, do you guys want to light a torch as well? I would like to light a torch. Okay. We, light. Mr. Beno, not asking anyone else, lights a torch. Holds it, <laughs> holds it before himself. Easily illuminates the uh, the hallway at this point. Um, I'm going to need everyone to make me perception tests. Or better yet, we'll probably just have Marius make one with advantage. That'd probably be the most efficient. Okay. So Marius, make me uh, one with a plus 20. Okay. Ooh, good thing I did, because that is a 61 out of 80, or 74. Okay. The tunnel goes um, left and right, essentially. It goes on for quite some time. It's your pick which way you want to go. There's no distinguishing marks with that mm -hmm. roll. Okay. It's just either okay. or. No secret signs minor stuff? Do you have secret signs? I do have secret signs minor. You do have secret signs? You Yeah. Okay, you picked it up. I, I, I didn't think you picked it up. Okay. Yeah, well, I picked it up case, last, last time. Yep. In that case, Marius... As you're glancing around, you do see there are some interesting scratches on the wall nearby. Mm -hmm. To the layman, they would look like nothing. They look like a scuff. To you, these look like mining code. It's very, um, it's almost like reading old English, though. Mm -hmm. it's, it's archaic. So you can kind of make out what it says. And it essentially is giving... Um, a direction. It's, there's almost like a direction pointing to what it, what it refers to as the mine. Mm. And that is to the right. Well, I guess we're going to the mine. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> you begin setting forth oh, in the boy. direction of the mine. Mm, Sir Marius feels at home, you know? It does. It's true. It's very true. And you traverse this way in these paths for quite some time before you come across your first door um, that you, you see that you can open from within here that will give you access out into the hallways if you so choose. Or you can keep going. It is your decision. You will have traveled an hour at this point. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, I'm not sure where we're actually supposed to go. Assuming our, our mission is done, I, I I do not know if we should just try to escape or, or what, so I guess we need to make a decision. Um, we can still go on this path or get back out into the halls and Try to look out there. Let the. Uh, I do not know. I'm. I, this is this is not for a man like me. Um. I don't want to go back in the halls. I don't want to encounter any more of the monsters. Just going to be honest. Could there be uh, another way out? Is there, are there tracks to follow for carts? Is this a mine? Surely, there must be. Some some sign to tell us how to get out of here. Some something something we can follow. All I know is the mine is this way, and where that leads, I do not know. Most of the time, mines lead deeper into the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> so there is that. Perhaps yes, there's yes, another no, way. I know mine. My family owns one. Look, oh, when God. you mine, though, it has to come out <laughs> of the mine. So there must be a way to the surface. That this I know. Is... I do not know how it works underneath the ground, but I know there's a hole in the ground, and the miners bring the silver and all the stuff out of that hole. We need to go through the mine to find that hole. That is what I think uh... we should do. And I stamp my little foot. No oh, God. <laughs> uh, got the feisty one here. Thoughts. <laughs> and is, I followed you into battle plenty of times, so usually whatever you decide to go with, 
I follow you in. Uh, you're a wise, Sam. I, so I, I, I will follow your lead too. I just think that mine might be the best choice. But I don't, I will don't follow know much your about lead. much about mines, Marius. So, if you think that's the place to go, all right, let's let's continue on to the mine just to see what we have and. Okay. Maybe there's an alternate way out. All right. And as you're having this conversation, um, mm -hmm. Bragadin, yes. make me a perception test at plus 30 for your hearing. I rolled a 67 under 79. Ooh, very good. So, Bragadine, you don't hear something until it's eerily close as you guys are having this heated conversation next to this door that can possibly lead you out into the tunnel. You hear about 20 feet behind you you hear just a slight chittering noise and it puts you on guard and you glance back and with your torch lit you see eight large bulbous eyes and spindly legs of a massive spider that is slowly <sighs> creeping in your direction. <gasps> behind us! <laughs> How far behind us? It's 20 feet. It snuck up on the likes of you. Uh... And it is huge. It's taking up the entirety of this tunnel. Which, granted, is not very big to begin with. So. Yeah. Yeah. What would you like to do? Uh, May should probably <laughs> attack it just because he knows he cannot run it. Are you going to... Uh, I will say, there is a door next to you. Yeah. You have options. May is going to attack it. Okay. <laughs> Marius, <laughs> Marius charges the spider. Damn it. Oh, go ahead. Let's go and roll initiative, boys. Let's roll initiative. Mm. Thanks, Marius. Hey, no problem. Uh, Marius rolled a 12. Oh, good. Seamus? 11. All right, very good. And Bragadine? Bragadine in his shock only rolled a 5. Okay. But, however, your shock did, however, um, prevent... I got six cents, by the way, too. Yes, that is true. Um, which also allowed the party to not be surprised. <laughs> so, you were not taken completely by surprise. Um, Marius, you charge forward easily within range of this creature. You are first to move. You are free to make your attack. As it's chittering legs. Charge? Um, you yes, you can get your your bonus for your charge, and the the legs and the mandibles come clacking together as the, it sees that its ruse has been, um, it the the jig is up as it was. Mm -hmm. I rolled a thirty one out of eighty. Ooh, shit. Okay then, that definitely hits. Um, how much damage <laughs> is that? Uh, that's five. Seventeen. Oh, plus armor, vicious. plus armor piercing. Yes, yes, I, I remember, I remember. Okay, thank you. Um, vicious blow. Um, you actually take one of the arms, the one of the right arms, the legs, I should say, as it's as it's clacking back and forth, and you, the head of the pick pierces through and rips it from the socket and the creature ah, hisses and backs away as this kind of blackish green fluid oozes from the wound and it looks severely hurt is that the end of your turn Mary's wolf 
Have a rough day, beast. Um, that will be my turn. <laughs> All right. And Seamus, it is now yours. Oh, well. Uh, my current minus 10 condition, the best thing is going to be to attack it from range. So I will pull the pistol out of my holster and okay. take a shot with that. Go ahead and make me a shot. It's a large creature, so plus 10, and you're probably not going to shoot Marius, hopefully. So plus 10 makes it cancel out. So regular shot of 61. Mm -hmm. Um, That is going to be a a 6 out of 61. Oh, man. Easily. Um, How do you want to do this, Seamus McCready? Uh, I'll like to just aim straight for its face and hopefully split it in two or something. Oh, yes. So you draw the pistol quickly as you see Marius lunge past and you look for an opening as the jaws unhinge and it looks like they're going to grab Marius by the throat and you draw and shoot in one motion almost from the hip. Boom! Boom! The pistol deafening. All of you have the deafened condition currently in this enclosed space with a black-powered <laughs> weapon <laughs> as it goes off. But the head of the spider explodes and the eyes just just rupture and plaster the walls as the body falls limp before you, Marius Wolf. The spider is no more. Woo! Braggadine didn't even get a turn. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that spider the creature, got lucky. The creature is yeah, dead. Did. And it looks clear for now, Braggadine. You don't hear anything else. But then um, again, you're currently deafened. <laughs> so continue say, as you guys may. How, how long will it take for that deafened condition to wear off? It doesn't it doesn't take long. It takes just okay. a, a few, uh, basically we'll call it just a, f- a few seconds for the ringing in your ears to die down. If there were any other yeah. creatures nearby, it would have been a little more detrimental, but. As far as the ringing to die down, and it's like, oh, all right, boys, if there's anything around it, probably heard that, so we better get did. going. Let's go. Oh, yes, yes, let's. Further down the tunnel? Aye. Okay. Uh, Mar- you... Marius, could you? Could you help me? <laughs> we could we could go much faster if you did. I, let me lower my pride to ask this, but please. <laughs> oh, very well, my Bretonian friend, and I help him along. Okay. You take him by the shoulder, put his arm over your shoulder, and you begin moving down the tunnel. You get. 10, 15 minutes down the tunnel. And you start hearing more chittering. Oh, no. This time from up ahead. Wait, oh. there's ahead, ahead, ahead of us, the sound. And this time, it sounds like a lot more than just <laughs> one spider. Mm. Are the uh, are the tunnel still covered with, covered with webs? There is some webbing in here, not as much as the um, as the larger tunnels you were in before. Okay. And this sounds like spider legs, right? From what? From the only one who can technically, with, with their heightened senses, I'm giving it to him, would be bracketing okay. in this enclosed okay. tunnel. He would be able to d- discern that these are spider legs. Yes. Sounds just okay. like the spider we heard behind us. Okay. Back. Um, I have one Molotov left. Would it be possible to light it and like hold on to it? Um, you can, but it's gonna burn down pretty quick. Okay, I'll hold off on that part. Then. Okay, wasn't wasn't there another door? There was a door you guys passed. Um, you could go back the other way, though. That's up to you. Maris's resolve is pretty high right now. He's upset. Mm-hmm. Day has not been good. Um, 
Marius is going to be like, I don't care if there's a hundred spiders up there. I'm going forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Marius is going to get grab his pick and just like grip it real tight. And then oh, keep on walking yes. forward. And he's going to become charging forward. Are the rest of you following <laughs> the suicidal charge? Ah, oh, I need Marius to light my Molotov. <laughs> uh, but no, but I no have a torch. Yeah, okay. no, that's a okay. torch. All right. I'm assuming uh, you guys are all going. Yeah, I have a very resolved look, very uh, dissatisfied. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I ready my shield and my sword, and I start to move. Okay, you begin moving forward, and as you guys do, there's a bend in the corridor. You take the bend, and you notice that the tunnel is missing. Oh. There's just a massive chasm mm -hmm. where the tunnel should be. It looks like something had happened at some point, and it's broken away, and there's just emptiness. <laughs> And you look, you look, you're looking around, you're glancing around, and the walls are still there. The wall, well, the wall to your left is still there. The wall to your right is no more. It's crumbled to nothing. The ceiling is still present, but you're hearing the chittering, the sounds, the, the scraping of legs, the clacking of mandibles. You don't see them in sight, though. Until Marius, you and your emboldened state, you get close to the edge. And you glance over the edge. And there is a sea of spiders climbing in your direction. From deep, deep below. And you see, Marius, further down, somehow climbing this massive hole, this wound in the earth. A gargantuan spider of enormous proportions. Mm. And that's when you begin to feel a rumbling. As its legs connect with the walls of this chasm. And the very earth itself shakes. Well, let's go the other way, boys. <laughs> yeah, Mary's probably like, well... I was wrong. Run away. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Wait, Dude. Marius, leave one of your spears. Did you give them all to that damn dwarf? I gave them all and I, I, I just grabbed Bono as I. He betrayed us both. Uh, <laughs> just pick up Bono and mm -hmm. start booking it towards the other. The all other right. Way. Um, I'm going to need athletics checks um, from Marius and from Seamus. Damn that. Oof. That is a 13 again out of 27. Okay, okay. Marius? Uh, 20 out of 26. Oof, man, you guys are so lucky on these damn... I know! Athletics checks. Athletics checks. <laughs> is that at your minus 10, Seamus? It is. That's at my minus 10. It should be okay. at 87. Okay. okay. So the both of you, um, and Marius, I'm, you, you're carrying bragging at this point. <laughs> so you, because he, there's no way he could keep up. Yeah. And you're glancing over your shoulder and you're seeing that the spiders are starting to crest into the hole and they're eagerly crawling towards you. And you're sprinting full tilt boogie down this hallway. Mm -hmm. um, you have a decision, the two of you. Because of your successful athletics test, the spiders have not caught up to you yet. You have made it to the doorway that leads outside. Or you can go forward. The choice is yours. I'm probably thinking doorway, just because it's the closest. Okay. Marius, give me a dexterity check. Alright. Let's see how quickly you do this. 
That is a 26 out of 36. Okay. Easily enough. You, without fumbling too much, in a very quickened manner, you find the rock that you need to open up this doorway. The ruined um, slate. Press it into the the matching rune on the door, on the opening. It slides towards you into the side. And there's an open hole for you to pass through. I do. I do so. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. And Seamus stumbles in behind you, I'm assuming. Oof. And as you do, the door <laughs> closes as mandibles and legs scratch against the outside. Oh. You guys are really enjoying the skill test here, I gotta say. Putting yourself oh, in some interesting situations. Uh, blast. I, I love it so much. <laughs> so. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it actually pretty sweetly, man. Huh? Okay. So, however, I'm going to need stealth checks from the lot of you. Seamus, you're still at minus 10. <laughs> oh, man. What are we doing? Stealth checks. Stealth checks. Oh, gee. All right. You get extra benefits, Marius, that will just kind of go <laughs> on the other side. Uh, yes. Uh, What'd you get, the Seamus? Ancestors of, the ancestors of Seamus tonight. That is a two out okay, good. of 17. Very good. Very good. Lucky. Um, bracketing? Uh, the lady has not given up her luck. We got a 12 out of 33. Out of 33. Very, very good. Okay, and Marius? Uh, Marius rolled a 46 out of 38. Out of 38. However, you get some benefits from being in the tunnels and whatnot that the others do not. So that is technically still a success for Marius Wolf. Alright. But all stealth checks are opposed, boys. All stealth checks are opposed. <laughs> You stumble out of the of the tunnel, and you're in the the more dwarven um, side tunnels now that you are come to familiarity with. This is a main branch. This isn't one of the winding tunnels that you had made your escape through. And you glance back and forth, and you don't see anything at first. The candle is still lit on your head, Marius, and Bono is still <laughs> clutching a a torch in his hand. But you don't see anything for the moment, and you begin creeping forward, just picking a direction, because you aimlessly have no idea where you are going. I will put the <laughs> torch out since there's there's the, the, the faint light in there already. Okay. So you will put the torch out. As you put the torch out with a hiss, you hear something. Braggading. You hear. A, you hear <laughs> sniffing noise. Coming from somewhere close by. You're not sure where. You can't see in the dark too good. But you put everyone on edge for a moment, and Marius, you're coming to a corner in the tunnel. As Seamus, as uh, Braggadine stops you, kind of whispering. And just as he does, the massive head of a blood red hound looks around the corner at you. And gives out a massive howl. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Oh, right. oh man. Leave forsaken. Wow. Gotten ourselves into some trouble, boys. Got ourselves into some trouble. This place sucks. It does suck. Indeed, I invented <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where we are. Oh. <laughs> nope. Yep. What what happened with Drogor? I don't know. Uh, Interesting. Walking around here for the rest of our lives. 
<laughs> He'll get his. Oh, this is great. This is so good. So good. So, um, we're going to cut it a little short tonight. I've got to wake up early in the morning. But how did we feel about tonight's game? Mm. Rough. Ooh, I liked it. It was a little rough. It was a little rough. It was a little rough. Everybody's pretty, pretty badly hurt. You know, last last session was rough. This it was. This 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 was good. I uh, I liked uh, uh, technically, like mechanically, I liked how we had a lot of the uh, skill checks to try and get successes, and mm -hmm. I like how we kind of figured out a different way to get out of the uh, without having to fight the demon machine. Yeah, so I thought that was enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I didn't want Bragadine to die. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was kind of hoping you guys would end up screwing up really bad and have to fight it. It would have been fantastic. Uh, but I no. I tried to jump and I would have fallen in the magma and you would have rolled a crit and I would have lost it's both true. my legs. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, that still would have been so beautiful. Oh, well. Mm. <laughs> How about uh, one Marius Wolf? Favorite moments from tonight's episode? Uh, I think my favorite moment was, um, blocking the, uh, the demon hand with my new pick. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Test it out a little bit, you know, Test get a little it out, use. Little, take it for a spin. Take it for uh, a The worst spin. part of it, the worst part of the experience was shortly after I blocked it. <laughs> 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 but... <laughs> A brief moment it was my favorite it was yeah. you saved Seamus though I guess I did yeah yeah saved his life <laughs> uh, how about how about Mr. McCready favorite moment uh, of the night I enjoyed uh, Marius's block with that pick as well it made me think <laughs> either that, that pick has some really cool property or Marius has you know like Sigmar's blood in him <laughs> yeah, I guess either could be hurt. a possibility. <laughs> I thought that was died, pretty though. cool. I, I imagine Seamus <laughs> sure. laying there on the ground, staring at it like, "Oh shit!" You know. Yep. Hell yeah! Indeed. Like a beam of light shoots down, Marius. You know. Oh God, no! <laughs> <laughs> beam of light. Mm, that's, that's how I remember it happening too. <laughs> he know? he ascends to godhood instantly. Uh. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Awesome. Um, I definitely enjoyed my demon, my demon engine. I wish I would have gotten to play with it more, but who knows? Maybe I still will. You didn't kill it uh, after all. We'll see. <laughs> but um, yeah. I also yeah, enjoyed, uh, I enjoy, definitely enjoyed what happened with Drogor. Man. Uh, all I can I say he, is this I is going to be good. Uh, <laughs> you hope? You hope he did? I do. I do. Oh. Oh well, only time Bragadine will tell. Bragadine is not optimistic. Bragadine is not optimistic. We'll see. I feel boys. like uh, who has betrayed us are the fans for leaving those rude comments <laughs> about how the demon engine should take care of us. It's true. They did. They wished it. They wished it upon you all. But um, we are actually. No, 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 no. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the fans. Bragadine's been getting some love. Oh apparently god! I like I like a little bit. <laughs> apparently, Bragadine the Brave is uh is, is a little bit more popular. Uh, is he and, trending? Uh, he's he's trending uh, on Twitter. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna go that way, but mm. uh, he definitely mm -hmm. uh has got got a little bit of love. And that, and he I has. Like that. Yes, and I do. I we all appreciate you guys. We're definitely in, enjoy putting on the show for you. Um, this is our private game, but it's good to share it with everyone. So, um, thank you guys very much for watching and that retrospect but we are not going to have a viewer decision this time because drum roll please ah, there we go we are doing a holiday special oh yeah since we're not going to be able yeah surprise since we're not going to be able to um probably record next week as it is the u.s thanksgiving families in town there's going to be a lot of stuff busy with the with all of us with all four of us so um in that mind we are doing a double trouble special 
for you guys. And we will be uploading it. I will I will be uploading it um, in a few days. So no viewer decision for this portion. But the next one, we will have a viewer decision to keep the trend oh. up. So yeah. with that in mind, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. This has been Rise of the Forsaken. I have been Jumbo Thick. This has been the Unfortunate Fellowship in all their glory. Um, do make sure to leave us <laughs> likes on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And of course, leave us comments because we do enjoy them. We please, read them please. all and we will respond as need be. Um, as usual, I've been Jumbo Thick. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in our next episode. Have a good day.